I Bowen and yet another time chapter number 2 is in front of you it's going to talk about photosynthesis and we're going to get an introduction to this chapter it is going to be grade 11 science as usual and video number 1 is in front of you in this video what are we going to learn let's understand certain things what we will learn in this video yes what are the raw materials for photosynthesis We have been learning this photosynthesis since beginning even before grade 6 but something is different that what we are going to learn in this beautiful grade 11 photosynthesis subject so let's understand that one in a nice way let us get into the subject and find out right that is a cow definitely eating grass that is a cow eating grass and that's a stalk yes you can state easily how the cow and the stalk obtain their food without any doubt you can say that how the cow is taking the grass and how the stalk is definitely taking the fish so they depend on other organisms for their food even you depend on so many other organisms for the food even you are even when you are vegetarian or a non vegetarian you definitely depend on something else like the tiger like the cow like this dog like the dog cat every organisms depend on another organism for their food so those called under a different definite name so it's known as heterotrophic mode of nutrition heterotrophic mode of nutrition so we came to know and we already know about it that heterotrophic is the right word for those organisms which are depend on another organism for the food are called as now how do green plants obtain their nutrition you know that i know that you already talking that and already you are answering what is that it's all about these plants produce their food within them these plants produce their food within them therefore it is called autotrophic mode of nutrition so heterotrophic and autotrophic you clearly know what is the different even since the beginning now look at this food chain look at this food chain yes you know that food chain but the thing what we are going to understand here is living organisms depend on that food directly or indirectly for their existence now when we are talking about this particular frog over here this frog is also depending on the grass the snake depends on the grass and the final consumer hog depend on the grass also even the fungi now those are not directly depend this frog has an indirect dependency or indirectly they are depending on the grass that's what they are talking about all the living organisms depend on that food directly or indirectly for their existence lovely isn't it so we understood that each and every organism has a dependency on another now we getting back to the real subject photosynthesis now this particular plant need raw materials for its food preparation yes it doesn't got a kitchen to prepare the food like we have but it has an a, a typical way or mechanism to create their own food they need water they need water that is absorbed by the root hair that water is absorbed by where the root hair not only that it also need light energy now carbon dioxide enter through stomata carbon dioxide enter to that stomata of the leaves not that's not sufficient enough carbon dioxide water and the light energy is not enough it requires another thing to complete the technical or mechanism of the photosynthesis those are chloroplast or chlorophyll they used to call absorb light energy and synthesis glucose now the byproduct oxygen and glucose will come only when these are fulfilled read this sentences very clearly from your book it is perfect utilizing the light energy the cell containing chlorophyll number 2 in green plants synthesize food using carbon dioxide and water as raw materials 
This process is called photosynthesis. Now this definition is quite a little different than the previous class's definition. Now if there is no chlorophyll, if there is no chlorophyll, plant cannot make food. Chlorophyll in green plants is a very very important one and it is util utilizing the light energy definitely but the raw materials are carbon dioxide and water as raw materials. Once again, you're utilizing the light energy, the cells containing chlorophyll in green plants synthesize food using carbon dioxide and water as raw materials. This process is called photosynthesis. Now when we don't have sunlight, it cannot produce the food for itself. If it got not chlorophyll, it is not going to be a successful transaction also. So it needs everything out of these four sunlight, chlorophyll, carbon dioxide and water as raw material. So we came to know the most important thing and the introduction is done. We will meet you in another session to talk about the photosynthesis further. Till then, bye-bye. Take care of yourself.